NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Lawrence going to put it up right away. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that's complete ETA out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out in the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. A short throw to Ingram. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. They'll run with ETN. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short. Definitely was a great time to dial one up. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. And they'll go again with ETN. Talanoa Hufanga, a first time all pro last year, up to make the tackle. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. On second down, a run with ETN. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two isn't anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as he'll get this down to the 32. They're that good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Well, they just continue to march the ball down the field here through the air, Charles. He is now six of six throwing the football. And it would help the defense if he was just throwing it to one guy because you could, you know, marshal some forces over there. But the way he's spreading it around, he's hitting them at all angles right now, making it very, very difficult. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. 
Now second and five. ETN up the middle. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Another tote for ETN. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Second and nine. Here's Lawrence. Dancing to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And that's what Trevor Lawrence I remember coming out of college. Never afraid to tuck the ball and go. People were covered downfield. Two scores as a rookie, five last year. He knows when it's time to take off and put it in the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7 0 game. Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. What a pickup this man was last year. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Escapes the defender. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. 
Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Lawrence on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On right, first and ten, it's ETN. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 53 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Ten more there and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Hey, hey, now second and three. Lawrence will throw. That escapes the sack. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Throwing on second and long. Purdy. Open man is Juwan Jennings. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. 
Purdy with it on third and long. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. Seven nothing is our score. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now third down and seven. Shotgun now with Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 40. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. They will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall line of scrimmage call it no gain on the keeper and it's going to bring up a fourth down nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive agreed and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better but i don't know if i would be daunted by them stopping me on one run this drive has gone pretty well i could come right back at them 
And he is going to have the Niners first down as he'll wind up getting the yards they needed on fourth and three. It's a gain of four that time. And it'll be first down 49ers. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down, all right? This is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 21. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Back to throw, Purdy. And this is going to be incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. And let's get the ball back for us. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. The tackle by Eric Armstead. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Now Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A handoff running left is ETN. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. 
It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. The offense on third down, no problems to this point. A perfect five for five. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. ETN once more. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. He'll get this off to ETN. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass in. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up. That'd be the time to do it. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Javon Hargrave, the former Eagle, there on the stop. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Draw play, ETN. He stiff arms him, shedding the tackle, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And they'll run with ETN. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. ETN will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal throwing now Lawrence the looting and he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown Trevor Lawrence his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Jags are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead that's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown.
touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing, Purdy. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Foyasade Amulikin. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now well, San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. McManus now for the extra point. And it's Touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Purdy now to throw. They'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Purdy sets up to throw again. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain there of 30 big ones. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So often in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. 
That's complete to the tight end, Werner. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll make it second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. This is second and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Sends it out toward the sideline. Kittle brings it in for the completion. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Purdy with one final shot here. And he wisely will throw that one away. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Just a formality now, but here's the extra point. And it's good, but it's also of little consequence as this game is over. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play, but still, all for not really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's just, it's, silly. it's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.